Lebanon Amusement Business and a Lebanon Animal Shelter have played increased roles in major rescues of animals from abusive situations in the region, including two in September out of Kentucky. Since 2011, New Leash on Life in Lebanon has participated in multiple rescues with Animal Rescue Corps, a nonprofit animal protection agency. The Nashville fairgrounds are often a landing spot for Animal Rescue Corps rescues, but it's not always available. Cumberland Valley Shows in Lebanon is owned by the Floyd and Baxter family, and they have a warehouse that they've used for four rescues since 2012. When Animal Rescue Corps is in the area, in this region, we often come to Tennessee, especially Middle Tennessee, because this is where our resources are. We've been building relationships here for years that help us support the animals. Um, we've got volunteers here, we've got um, other supporters, the media, and business owners, which is how we ended up in this warehouse that we rent out when we have large-scale rescues. And more than 120 dogs, four cats, and two parrots were rescued from an alleged puppy mill in Kentucky in September, and about a week later, nearly 30 more dogs were rescued from a dead hoarder in Kentucky. Leash on Life has worked with Animal Rescue Corps on multiple rescues as a partner of the organization, and new Leash on Life director Amy Haverstick handles logistics for Animal Rescue Corps. Cumberland Valley Show's warehouse was first used in November 2012 for a rescue of 65 pit bulls who were being trained to fight. A venue was needed and Haverstick called Jennifer Floyd Smith, part of the family who owns Cumberland Valley Shows. Since we have available space, we are happy to um, assist them and help them and provide it for the, for the dogs. And the animals from the recent Kentucky rescues are now with placement partners. It makes me happy just to see them, you know, they're going to have a life that somebody's going to love.